How you doing? This is uh, Lee with 82 Gaming 12, and this is going to be video four of uh, Midway Solitaire, the deluxe edition designed by Joseph Miranda. And this is a game published, excuse me, published by Decision Games 2021. <clears throat> And, uh, like I said, this is the fourth video, and we're just going to jump right into it. I got uh, Frankie there, my Franken gnome or Gnomenstein. <laughs> uh, you can get those at Dollar, tr Dollar Tree for $1.25. Same thing with the little wind-up uh, toys there. Uh, got those for my grandkids, but I forgot to take them when I went to visit them last time. Uh, so, here they are. Okay, so we're starting another round or turn. Um, and because of the U.S. Navy intelligence, they were able to discover what the Japanese next operation would be, which is going to be here in the Solomons. So that's what we got going on. So this goes up here, the top. And uh, so that's the determination segment. Uh, so, we're ready to move to the search segment of the Imperial Japanese Navy. Okay, so we go to the search section. And we look down here uh, to the uh, I guess what I can do here it's got a lot of these orange ones so I'm going to put these orange cubes out here i got a whole bunch of them and I'm going to use these I got these at Michael's and I wish I could I wish I could uh, find more of them um I really like to use them when I'm uh, doing all of this, especially when uh, for the video. So, all right, so this is the, we're doing the truck uh, operation uh, Solomons. So uh, if I put uh, one of these out here along the, the path, Okay. of where it goes that kind of shows you the path it's easier to follow uh, I think so and uh, I had mentioned about uh, this magazine it was uh, World War II history um, and this is the uh, June 2021 edition and it had the Hellcats over truck and uh, this actually takes place 40, let's see, 1944, I believe. Um, <clears throat> and it's an article uh, that uh, you've got uh, eight Hellcat fighters uh, from the carrier Langley, which was a light carrier, shot down 21 Japanese zeros above the Carolina Islands. So, April the 29th, 1944. So, there's a, uh, I guess the commander of the, um, uh, what do you, what do you call the, the group, uh, V-32, um, uh, air group, uh, the commander is, uh, I guess his last name is Outlaw, um, yeah, Eddie Outlaw. There's a picture of him right here. And, of course, he's got his kills. He got five kills that, that day and became an ace. So, um, 
they kind of had their way. Uh, they've got these uh, fuel tanks here, and they were supposed to drop those, uh, but uh, Eddie, uh, I guess in his excitement, uh, forgot to drop uh, the tank. And so all of uh, the planes in his uh, air group, uh, they followed suit. They didn't drop theirs either. So, but uh, they claimed that they didn't uh, have any bullet holes. Uh, none of their planes were shot down, none of the eight, and none of them had any bullet holes from the engagement. So there's a picture of a Japanese uh, bomber bursting into flames over the truck atoll thought to happen uh, on another day so but this is the picture of the group of the guys there so that uh, article is interesting um hellcat was uh was i guess an improvement over the uh the wildcat so Okay, um, so we've got the, the route. Okay, next thing is we got to check for um, spotting. Okay, so this is using that uh, little uh, file from Board Game Geek. Um, this is the same information in the book. So on the search, to determine if a unspotted task force is within three spaces of a base. Okay, so we've got a base here, right here, at Rabol. All right. And so what we have to do is we count from the base. We've got one, two here at the Solomons. And so uh, here we've got uh, this task force. Task Force 17 is here. So we have to roll to see if uh, they're spotted. So, okay. So on this chart, it says, oops, come pull down. Okay, so we roll one die. <clears throat> one to two, search succeeds, flip the task force to its spotted side. Three to six, no effect. So, Let's have a roll. I don't have a dice, dice tower. All right, we rolled a five, so they're not spotted. So they stay on the unspotted side. Okay. Um, and then that's the only task force uh, that's within range. Um, we've got this task force, and, and that's uh, that's the only one on the path. Okay, we don't we're not looking on any other path. It's got to be this route. So that's that's it. Okay, so we have movement segment. Okay, and this is where we will have an instant marker <clears throat> if you have units that move. Okay, so what we have is we have um, this. <clears throat> group right here made up of three separate counters we got the invasion force the support force and then the fourth carrier strike force so we have to roll over here on the movement table and so let's see how, how far can i blow that up the other thing is just to do that right there. Okay, so the first one is the invasion. So the invasion is going to be rolling on this right here. So let's see how many spaces it's going to go. All right, I rolled a three. So it's going to move two spaces. So if we go back over to here, pull back. Okay. Uh, so the invasion is going to move two spaces. So they go one, two. So they end up at Rebol. Okay, next we've got the uh, support. And the support is going to be rolling in this middle column. And I rolled a two. And that means they only move one space. So they 
would stop right there. So this is where they, they started here. They go to right there. Now the fourth carrier, strike force. Okay, so we go back over to here and we look on the table and we roll a die. We rolled a one. So it also only moves one space. So right there. So that's where they're at. Okay. Then we have to draw one of these uh, incident markers to find out if anything happens. And we have an instant, which is the submarine. It's the submarine uh, instant. There must be a lot of those in the cup. So we go over here to the uh, book and we find on page, it's right before you get to the uh, option rules, page 15. And we looked at some of this uh, last time. Okay, so submarine have drawn during the Imperial Japanese Naval Movement segment. An Imperial J Japanese Navy Task Force may be subject to a submarine, a submarine attack. Okay, so we go back over to here. Okay, all friendly task forces in the space closest to the enemy home base on the active route are spotted. Okay. Space closest to the enemy home base. All right, so that would be this invasion force. So the invasion force is spotted. Going into Rabaul. Okay, next. Okay. One task force in that space is subject to a submarine attack. It's the only one. Perform anti-submarine warfare for each light carrier, light cruiser, and destroyer units. So you would roll one to two. It's uh, submarine is aborted. Three to six, the submarine gets through. So, okay. So first, we had to look at what's in that. Uh, what's in... Uh, so, I'm going to put this red one here on top of that task force. All right, so it's the invasion... Um, S.O. S.O. Let's see, where's it at? S.O. There it is, right here. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to flip these over and find out if they have any uh, in there. That's a deception. There's a battleship and then a transport. So there is no, uh, that's a deception. It just gets put back in the, in the uh, thing here. Okay, so there's no uh sub anti-submarine warfare there okay so now we go to possible attack uh submarine attacks one naval unit row one die six the result is less than or equal to the number heard on the marker that target receives one hit resolve the hit using the procedure okay in nine four three okay All right, so I can pick who I want to attack here. Um, do we want to hit the transport or the battleship? I think we want to hit this battleship. I think we're going to, that's too big of a prize. So I got to get a one or a two, though. I got a three. All right, so no effect. That just goes back in the cup. Okay, and then these are turned back over. And placed back in the uh, invasion uh, so okay but they are spotted okay so I'm gonna leave that red marker on them as being spotted uh, okay what's next
Okay, so now we would go to the U United States Naval Reaction Segment. Which, uh, if we were to look up there, oh, there it is. We yes, did the... Sir. What? What time do you leave tomorrow? Well, I can't go over there and do that Jacksboro until like 11 o'clock. The one over here on Jasper Highway. Yeah. So I'll leave after that. Oh, okay. Very good. You taking my new car? It don't matter. I can take the other one. Do you stay, feel safe doing that? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't know if we could get all her stuff in Sean's car. That's fine. I'll, I I don't mind taking that other. Well, I'm not going that far anyways. Well, if you feel safe. Yep. All right, so we've got this uh, uh, United States Naval Reaction Segment now. So, we can actually launch. We can actually launch. Could launch. Brom, let's jump back down here. All right, so I've got the Task Force 17 here. Lexington, New Yorktown. Now, I launched last time, and uh, uh, we ran into some issues, but uh, we could launch to attack that, uh, those ships. So let's see here, we got the Yorktown. Okay, put their planes out here. And we've got the, not the Saratoga, the Lexingtons. Um, and I can actually put some of these up for cap. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to launch these torpedo planes. And I might as well launch the bombers. And we're send one, uh, fighter but the other fighter he's going to stay here over the task force that's cap okay and so over here on this battle display this is what I would do, is I would put these, okay, so I've got a cap, and I've got escort, and then I've got these attacking, uh, Task Force. Okay. And I don't have any land.
Okay, so now the Imperial Navy air unit launch segment on the activated route for spotted task fleet. They can Okay, so Japanese now have their reaction. That's according to the thing up here. So I go to here, so we go to launch. Uh, up here, Japanese have a launch segment. Okay, so if we look here, they've got... Um, uh, Um, so we've got this fighter, he's going to go as, um, and these two bombers, they, they can go to the base here, um, There's really, I don't know, that base. What does the base have? I mean, they could destroy the base. You know. Make them have to spend time, spend me time to, re to uh, repair it. It doesn't have any air base capability or anything. Um, so, I guess they're not, no, there's really no use sending them. So, they're just gonna, they're just gonna stay here. I'm not gonna send them. Um, I could put him up his cap. So, yeah, let's, the fighter, let's see if he goes to cap. So, here that is. So, if I roll the dice, I roll a four, he goes to cap, okay. So, he goes to cap, but it's not cap for the, for the uh, task force. It's cap for the base. He can't, he can't do cap for the, for the uh, task force, so... All right, so next we go to mutual combat segment. And uh, that's going to be, uh, let's see, that's going to be over here on the battle board. So what the Japanese have, I'm bringing these guys back, is... They've got the ships, or the battleship and transports. Um, and they don't have any protection. Um, the battleship can provide anti-air, but there's no air-to-air. Even though he's flying over, um, let's see. Uh, 
let's see. Yeah, I don't I don't think they have to worry about it. they're not they're just flying like around. They don't have to worry about that cap that those uh Zeeks over the base. So alright, so we would go straight to uh anti air. Okay. So what we have is, is uh, we've got uh, a two and a one. Um, and they have to decide who they're gonna, who they're gonna attack. So we've got this escort and then we have these attack uh, torpedo bombers and the dive bombers, so. So this battleship is going to be firing at this uh, Yorktown unit here, okay, and he's got to get a two or a one, he got a one. So that takes care of those, those guys are gone, and uh, those are eliminated. So. We'll put them in the eliminated box. And then the uh, transports here are going to fire at the other uh, SPDs. And they've got to get a one. I got a five, so no effect. Okay, so now we can have uh, our planes come in here and attack different targets. So I want to bomb this transport. Uh, this one's going to go after the battleship, and this one will also hit go for the transports. So, all right, we'll go with the uh, SBD unit first. This one. So, uh, do like I normally do here. So we're going here and here. Maybe that helps. Okay, so we've got to roll a two or less. We've got a three, so that didn't work. Okay, and then we have the Lexington torpedo bomber. We've got a one. We've got a three. He missed. Okay, now up here at the battleship. Now, same thing. We got to get a one. Get a hit. I got a four. Okay, so uh, no, no, uh, no effect there. Came in was ineffective. Uh, they, they did lose uh, some uh, some planes and stuff. So uh, let's see, that's the Yorktown. I'll leave the cap, I guess, so I'll not go ahead and... Well, yeah, he's still capped, so we'll put him over the top. Lexington, and then these two go back. Over here. All right. So I'm going to go back here, and we got the return segment. 
We got morale segment. Nobody was lost. We go to the logistics segment. Okay. Uh, don't have any base repair. Nobody's lost anything, so we're good there. Nobody, Japanese haven't received any losses. Okay, so now we go to the American or the United States Navy's uh, actions, which is G1, organization segment. Okay, and we have the chart here. So we look at G1, and we've got several things that we can do. We can reorganize, create a new task force, recruit reinforcements, replace uh, naval aircraft. Replace a land craft, replace a coastal defense. Okay, we're going to do the recruitment. Okay. And we can either do that, let's see, we can do that either at Pearl. Yeah. Or, and what we're going to do. We want this destroyer. Um, so down here in Pearl, we're going to add this destroyer group right here. So this has got the Saratoga. So we're going to be adding a battleship and a destroyer group, hopefully. All right, so that's that. We go to Intelligence. Uh, segment select uh, uh, naval air search. Let's see, within two hexes, we've already got that task force spotted. So really, with this intelligence, okay, if we look, it's a deal here. It all of a sudden got loose. I may have to, I may have to do a little bit of work here to tighten this back up. What's the deal? I may have to put this uh, thing I may have to put this thing down while I tighten up this bolt. Let me put the, I gotta put my camera down a second. See if I can just kind of let it sit there and look at Frankie. Okay, let's see here. Wrong one.
Well, maybe that. Maybe that took care of it. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, turn this light back on. There we go. All right. So, as I was saying, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh. So with my intelligence, I already know, I already have this one spotted, this task force. And this is my uh, task force that has the carriers. And I can only go two spaces. So that's only going to put me here. And I, I already know this base is here. So I already know this task force is here. So um, it doesn't do me any good to use that. So what I would do is I would use my intelligence to draw another one of these operational markers so I know what's coming. And, okay, it's going to be SO again. So that's what's, um, that's going to be the next operation. They're going to be using, going again with uh, the SO, Solomon campaign. So they're going to be really pushing the Solomon campaign. So, um, which means I probably need to get the Saratoga down here to help. Um, so, uh, the Saratoga is here at Pearl. So I could move, uh, by way of, uh, Samoa and then New Caledonia and then move up to, uh, the Solomons. And that's probably what I'm going to need to do. Um, that gives me some more uh, aircraft. Um, so, um, that's probably what I need to do. Okay, so now we go to the operation segment. Okay. G3. Okay, so here I can do a naval operation. I can select one route, move any and all uh, task forces or independent naval units using the United States Naval uh, Movement Rule. Okay, so I'm going to do this route here. This is what I'm going to do. Um, what I should have done is I meant to organize a task force. So I didn't do that. I added, instead of organizing a task force like I wanted to, I, I added. So, um, I'm not going to be able to get them unless I send them without, uh, G3 
to have a task force so that I could I could send them. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm over here contemplating what uh, what I'm going to do. So in this Task Force 11, right now I have the Saratoga and a Destroyer Group, okay? And I've got one task force here that I haven't used. And I could form these two uh, counters, this battleship and these Destroyer Unit, in a task force and send them later. Which means I could then send... Uh, this task force um, So I could redeploy, select one home base containing a, a uh, task force slash naval units, and then move all any of those task force naval units to one adjacent home base. So... So instead of let me look here. I don't, I can't do all of that. Right, doesn't allow me to do all of it. So yeah, so with this G3, what we have here is we've got this G3 uh, operation. So I can do a naval operation or I can do a land-based operation. Again, I'm not, can't do both. And, or, well, or I could do a redeploy task force or rebase air units. That's my understanding. I'm not, I don't get to, I think maybe I was doing all of them. Maybe the other turned it out or not. I don't remember. But uh, I think so. I don't remember what I was doing. Let's see what it, if it says over here. Surely I'm not getting to do all of this. Uh, okay, where does it talk about? Well, maybe you do.
Okay. I don't think so. Okay, let's see what it says here. Okay, so right here is the answer. All right, it's right here. Segments must be performed in the order given. Okay, you may perform one action in each segment. However, you may choose not to conduct one or more segments. All right, so right here it says you may choose and conduct one of the six actions. Here you choose and conduct one of the three. You may choose and conduct one of the four. Uh, and this is because of the lack of Allied joint operations at the stage of the war. Uh, and then here, logistics, you may choose and conduct one of the four. So, that's, that's right. Hopefully I wasn't doing more than that. All right, so... I can either do a naval operation, a land-based operation. There don't no, no use from doing land base. There's no land-based aircraft. But you know, I could do the, um, of course, the naval operation, which runs the risk of do using having an incident marker, but also runs the risk of being spotted. Okay, so if I just stay put. And then I try to bring up the Saratoga for reinforcements. And then what I can do is here at Pearl, I can move all of these. Okay, according to this, it says uh, select one home base containing uh, Naval Task Force slash Naval units. And then move all slash any of those to adjacent home base. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move all of them to uh, down here to Samoa, right here. So we'll just slide these suckers down here, down there. So that is my, that's my G3. Okay. And then we go to uh, G4, just logistics segment. And then we get to do repair damaged naval units. Select up to two naval units. Okay, don't have any of that. I've got that damaged aircraft over there, but I can't repair it. So that's all of that. There. I can't do anything there. So it, uh, we go to the administrative phase. This goes over back. It goes over here into the used. Okay. And then we flip over any. This goes, this unit here goes back to, to the carrier. It's the Lexington's fighters. Um, and then this spotted unit goes back to not, it's not spotted any longer. Uh, and I'm going to leave those, uh, orange things there because, uh, blocks, because that's just going to be the same, uh, operational uh, route that's going to be used. So, um, just kind of a. Um, recap here. I was able to move Task Force 11, which has the Saratoga and a destroyer group, with a battleship. Like this Task Force doesn't go yet. A battleship group and. Uh, 
another destroyer group down to Samoa. Okay, and that's where they're at now. The Japanese are on the move toward the Solomons. So they want to capture the Solomons and then move down here to New Cal Caledonia, uh, coming out of truck. So, and I know from my intelligence that that is the uh, that's the operational route that's going to be used uh, next. So they're continuing with that. So I've got to be prepared um, for that uh, because it's coming. And uh, I lost uh, these... Uh, Yorktown lost all of its uh, dive bombers, Dauntless dive bombers. So all she has now are fighters and... Uh, the torpedo bombers. So that means they can't uh, attack the base. They can only attack uh, naval units. So okay, so that uh, it took about uh, about forty something minutes, I guess. I kind of had an interruption there, but uh, I'm gonna stop right there with this video. I don't want to drag these out too long which um, I need to be able to get through a couple of a couple of these uh, rounds or turns um, should be able to get through more than one should be able to get through one in about 15 minutes so that's my I guess my goal is to do that I don't want to brush it though just really want to enjoy it and have fun doing it, but at the same time, not waste a lot of time him and him are and around about yakety yak. So, all right, so that's the end of ter uh, this video, video four, which I just got through, I think, just one more turn uh, or round, what they call it in this game. I guess they call them maybe turns. So. Uh, just my quick thoughts here. Uh, I'm enjoying this. Uh, it's really simple to uh, just follow through. Um, so everything's laid out for you. I, I really like the chart uh, that's provided here uh, with all the different, you know, you just look and say, okay, this is what I can do, you know. Um, and uh, everything's laid out for you. Uh, I like the fact that the, the you've got all these charts on the map instead of having them you know, on a piece of paper or on another, you know, something in the book or whatever. Um, and also the fact that, uh, you know, all of the, all of the, um, uh, counters Okay, are placed on areas on the map, uh, so it's the bookkeeping is is simplified that that way. I really like that that you don't have on another you know you've got another chart or another another table or whatever it is over here somewhere that uh, you have to put uh, put things on. Um, I wasn't for sure if I would. Uh, you know, uh, enjoy the, it's, you know, like I said, it's kind of point to point, you know, um, but, uh, with this one, uh, due to, due to it being a solitaire, uh, I'm enjoying it. Like I think I mentioned before, there's this decision games has a little folio, uh, it might be called something else, might not be the folio, but they've got one over in Lawrence of Arabia. That's a point to point that uh, I'd like to get. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, the uh, Lawrence of Arabia movie with uh, Peter O'Toole, even though I know it took a lot of liberties. It's got some, oh, it's got some uh, magnificent uh, acting uh, in that movie. Um, Peter O'Toole, of course, but uh, 
Alec Guinness, uh, which, uh, you know, Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan Kenobi, um, but uh, so many other, Omar Sharif, uh, so many good, uh, so much good acting in that uh, movie. Uh, director, uh, is that a Richard Attenborough movie? I think it was. Anyways, so, uh, very enjoyable, I think. Um, one of those epic, Hollywood epics they used to make. They don't make those anymore. Like Cleopatra and, and uh, The Longest Day, um, The Bridge Too Far, uh, so many others I can't think of, but uh, there we go. So, like I said, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Uh, I think it's uh, really easy to, uh, to play. Um, it uh, kind of really uh, gets me uh, interested in playing uh, something like Flat Top, which I, I don't think I have anymore. Uh, which is a shame. I really love that game. Um, but I don't know why I don't have it. I don't know what happened to my... What what I did with mine. If I sold it or what I did. But uh, anyways. So uh, I'll uh, work through this. Uh, we'll have another video. It won't be till next week sometime. I'm going to be out of town for several days. During the weekend and then... I uh, won't be back till probably Monday, I guess. So, video five will have to wait. And I apologize for the loud humming noise or whatever you hear in the background. That's the air conditioner. We have window units. And uh, they're kind of loud. So, but uh, just have to work with it best we can. So, I'm not going to sweat. But, uh, you know, if you if you enjoy carrier uh, battles, the Pacific, uh, this may be something that you're interested in, in picking up, especially if you uh, play, uh, you know, solitaire yourself, uh, whether it be a solitaire game or not. And that's my, that's where I'm at. Um, there's just not people around here where I live uh, that are into these these uh, archaic games so I play everything I have I play solo whether it's designed for solo or not most of these games that I have are not so but I'll make it work all right so I appreciate uh, you uh, Getting out here and taking a look at the uh, the video. I hope you're enjoying the, this uh, new series here that we're doing. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one, which will be video five. And again, we'll be back with uh, the Solomon operation. Um, the uh, Japanese, uh, Imperial Japanese Navy will be moving up their uh, carrier strike force here and uh, the support to the invasion. Uh, hopefully their invasion uh, task force doesn't get too too far out in front. Um, that could be an issue. So, all right, appreciate you, and I'll catch you next time.